I visited Medill for the first time for my admissions interview in 2019. I came all the way from Virginia for what was a 30 minute meeting that could have been done remotely. But I wanted to experience firsthand the school's culture. To me, there's no substitute for in-person interactions. My visit amplified my desire to join Medill, move to Chicago, and immerse myself in the heritage and traditions of this proud institution. Just like you, I was thrilled to be admitted, but little did we know that COVID-19 would make us a part of the first virtual cohort of this program. We thought maybe after the first quarter we can all come together. No, no, the second. How about the third? Well, you know how the story ends. This is why I'm addressing you virtually. For the last 10 months, we've been learning remotely, but never felt distant from one another. We've been able to build a sense of belonging, share our stories of hope for the future, and build enduring bonds with our classmates. We've worked tirelessly on class projects, held virtual happy hours, met with professors, evaded the infamous Medill F. And I heard some even got A's with Professor D's. The Medill faculty was nimble to adapt, graceful when technology wasn't agreeable with them, and always willing to guide us during this transformative period. We're grateful for their efforts as well as the amazing work of our administration and staff. Learning online was a success, but it wasn't perfect. The timing of losing Wi-Fi was always poetic. For example, on the last day of a quarter, a professor told us that he was about to give us the most important piece of advice for our careers. And in that moment, he lost Wi-Fi. He regained his connection only to say, and I hope you never forget this, and then he logged off. Well, we have not forgotten the moment, but we have no idea what his advice was. But based on the context of our experience at Medill, it's sensible to think that he was encouraging us to not just choose a job, but to choose a career of consequence. To use our platform to give a voice to those who need it most, and apply our knowledge to bring understanding to the trouble spots in the world. More than ever, we must uphold our journalistic ethos to protect the fragility of democracy, promote racial justice, and bring integrity to the global discourse. If that's not what he said, that's my message to you, and I hope that I didn't lose connectivity. I wish you all success as you embark on your professional journeys, and I hope that you use your career as a crucible for positive change. I'm so proud of all the members of the class of 2021 for coming together, learning together, and I hope staying together. Congratulations, and see you soon.